Good evening, everyone. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com with... I think this might be our last case of Court Kings basketball, folks. 2018-19 Panini Court Kings basketball. 16 box. Pick your team number four. jazbeescasebreaks.com. Big thanks to all of these folks for getting into it. Pick your team four. And Jared, Nictor with that last spot mojo trailblazers. Nice. You want me to spot random? I, can, I, I cannot spot random the pug. I'm sorry. Pug is not for sale. He might be he might be around here next week. Might visit the shop again. He's been here before. All right, see you guys. Get get your own pug, Joe B. Get your own pug. You don't want the pug to break. Can you imagine? Can you can you imagine this SOB? No. His stupid little paws wouldn't be able to no, he, he he would Bubba would not Bubba the pug would not be able to do that. He he would ruin your cards. He wouldn't be able to he he doesn't have thumbs. He couldn't do he just has one little claw like at the end of his wrist. Like, what's he going to do? He can't open up packs like this. He's not able to do that. He doesn't know. I'd, I'd have to help him with all the players. He doesn't know basketball. Couldn't do it. All right. Both autographs on the bottom. I'm going to slope, try to slow play those as much as possible. Some of these are serial numbered, so let's take a quick look on the backs. Like that Andrew Wiggins, 99. I'm going to put these right here. There's Joel Embiid. Is that an autograph? 41 out of 49, Joel Embiid. Nice. That goes to the Sixers. That'll be for Josh Pruce. How far do the Sixers go in the playoffs? <laughs> there are videos on our site, ja uh, youtube.com slash Jaspi's Case Breaks, that do feature the pug. He's around somewhere. And the one right here is Brian Scalabrini for the Celtics. And that'll go to David with the Celtics. Next box. He's going to the Knicks, right? There's AI to 199. Trey Young level two. Trey Young's and Doncic's will will set aside too. Those those are the ones that are worth, especially like I probably didn't have to do it for level two, but definitely for level three and four. All right, let's do the one on the bottom first. It's Enos Cantor, sovereign autograph for the New York Knicks. Jeremy Tillman with the Knicks. He is persona non grata in Turkey, right? He's afraid that he'll get assassinated. The redemption is... Boom! Mitchell Robinson, maybe not boom. Heir apparent Ruby, Mitchell Robinson. He is a, uh, a Nick, I believe. Maybe not a boom. I don't think he's had a bad season, though, has he? I think he's, I think he's done okay this season. The 
Joe Kroll saying Splendor Hockey is down to three. Is that going to be our last break of the night? Could be. That's just, I think that's a short break, right? Could be. Another redemption. Any guesses on that other redemption? And there is Kurux, 99. Rodonis Kurux. We've got Brush Strokes, Cliff Robinson. Nice. And that is for Last Spot Mojo, Jared, and the Trailblazers. Out of 149. Jerome Robinson. We got Mitchell Robinson. We got Cliff Robinson. And we got Jerome Robinson of the Clippers. And here's to you, Mrs. Robinson. And there you go. Brian O saying the buck stops the process. Is it going to be Bucks Sixers Eastern Conference Final? That sounds exciting. I'd watch that. There's Mike Conley to 199. And Emerging Artist 25, Anthony Simons. All right, who else do we need, Eric Bailey? Just need, I almost dropped that Anthony Simons. My cat-like reflexes were able to save it. Um, Glenn Robinson, David Robinson. All right, what are some other Hoops Robinsons? There's Chandler Hutchinson out of 199. Eric Parent autograph for Da Bulls. Jared Nichter with the Bulls. And we've got Rudy Tomjanovich, Rudy T, 122 out of 149. And that go to the that goes to Ryan L and the Houston Rockets. Jesse saying Jackie Robinson? I don't think Jackie Robinson played basketball since like college. Not at the pro level anyway. We're talking about basketball Robinsons. All right, first four in the book, next four. Like, what other Robinsons could we find out? I guess we could look at a checklist, but what's the fun in that? We'll save that level three Kevin Knox for JT. And there's Josh Rich Richardson right there. Brian O, you may be, I think he's trying to guess the redemption. I think you might be a few minutes behind, Brian. Double check to make sure that you were watching live. Make sure that red button, the live button next to your volume is red, not gray. Nice Hamadou Diallo. OKC. That goes to Jesse Logsdon. There you go, Jess. Your dunk contest winner. 85 out of 99. And we got Tyler Johnson for the Heat. Impressionist Inc. autograph. Miami Heat, Brandon C. There you go, Jeremy S. Nate Robinson. There's a Nate Robinson, old Nick, right? Or I remember him as a Nick.
white to angels wearing three to one to snap a five game skin and check out Strauss numbers on the year with three homers in his last two games. He is now batting 375 with an OPS well above sub 200. Coming up, it's been nearly 20 years since Fernando Tatis hit two grand slams in one inning for the Cardinals. And there's Goran Dragic to 99. And we got another one for Last Spot Mojo, Gary Trent Jr., heir apparent autograph for Jared. There you go, Jared. 192 out of 199. And then we've got Larry Hughes, studio signatures. Wizards. Paul Harris, you're a wizard, Paul. Sixty out of one forty nine. Got Tim Duncan, Tim Air to 199. And Derek Rose to 99. Every rose has its thorn. First autograph is Michael Thompson, Clay's dad. And the color commentator on the uh, Lakers radio broadcasts. That goes to Jerry Matsumoto. There you go, Jerry. Little Laker Joe Mojo. Out of 149. And we've got Junior Bridgman for the Milwaukee Bucks. Studio signatures for the Bucks. Matt Bonner with the Bucks. Fifty-three out of ninety-nine. All right. Next box. Save that. Oh, nice. I think Brian O is live now. He's with us now. Fun fact, Junior Bridgman owns like 300 Wendy's franchises in Wisconsin and 25 Chili's. Is he, is he, is he the, the, the Magic Johnson of Wisconsin? Magic Johnson with all of his like Starbuckses and whatnot, movie theaters. That's pretty cool. I didn't, I didn't realize that. Good businessman. I like that. Jordan Clarkson to 199. DeAndre Ayton, level three, nice. And Timmy, four out of 99. Were you really chasing Junior Bridgman, Matt Bodner? No, he's a restaurateur. Formerly a pro basketball player, now a restaurateur. Entrepreneur, restaurateur. We got Lonnie Walker, the fourth. Look at that show hair right there, love it. Spurs, Jesse logs in with the Spurs. Kind of want a Frosty right now, Brian. Is it chocolate Frosty time after work? 30 out of 99, Lonnie Walker the fourth. Then we have Rodney Hood, 16 out of 25. Impressionist Inc. <laughs> no, says Matt was not chasing Junior Bridgman, but enjoys a little bit more now that he knows that fun fact. All right, that's for the Cavs. That's for Jamie. All right, we are halfway through this break, and looks like Splendor is sold out. Nice. And that'll be the Splendor will be the last break of the night. Thanks, everybody. Everything else will be tomorrow. Because by the time we're done with this, and by the time we finish off Splendor, we'll be we'll be right at the end of the broadcast.
All right. How far do the Pacers go without Oladipo in the playoffs? I'm surprised they're in the playoffs. Everyone's like, oh, they're going to fall out of the playoffs. But There's Trey Young, emerging artists. There's Jerome Robinson. There's Victor Oladipo to 99. And we've got Vlade Divac. Brush strokes autograph. Nice one for Jerry. A couple old school Lakers for you. We've got Michael Thompson from the uh, 80s. Vlade from the 90s, early 2000s. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Even better. Brian O just looked it up. Junior Bridgman. It's, <laughs> I know we're, it's getting late, but we got to. We love this trivia type stuff here. Junior Bridgman. Brian O just looked it up. He sold all of his chilies in Wendy's franchises and now is a bottler for Coca-Cola. Just signed a contract to bottle in Canada. We need Junior Bridgman to come in here talk to us about business. You know what I mean? Would you guys want an hour? An hour chat with Joe Jaspi and Junior Bridgman about, about his post-basketball career? Business? There's Fat Lever for the Nuggets. Another old school guy to 149. That'll be for Josh Proust and the Nugs. <laughs> Logs in saying the Pacers will lose. and the Lose game seven in the first round like always. Go Pacers. I, I once again get to watch the NBA playoffs stress-free. Lakers once again not in it. <laughs> Oh, redemption. Feel free to guess on those redemptions for bragging rights. Mike Conley to 199. And Chandler Hutchinson to 25, emerging artists. The auto below the redemption is Ray for Alston. Orlando Magic. Janie with the Magic. Magic, if they get into the playoffs, that could be pretty interesting, I think. Some of their uh, some of their wins this season have been against pretty big teams. So they somehow step up for the big teams. 22 out of 99. No guesses on the redemptions. It's going to be, boom, Keita Bates Diop. Air apparent autograph for the Timberwolves. Jeffrey Lobodo with that. Min. Next box. Do we miss the box toppers from last year or no? What do you guys think? I kind of do. Remember how the boxes were, were like like double the length and they would have those big box toppers up there. And some of them could be autographed. Or maybe people didn't care about them as much. Maybe that's why they didn't do it. And Ben Simmons to 25. Uh, Jared, okay, so Jared says, I'll take the guaranteed extra auto as opposed to the potential for an auto, but not guaranteed. I think it was like one per case or something like that, right? All right, fair enough. Likes V. Mahaliuk. Fresh paint autograph for the Lakers. Another one for the Lakers. The sharpshooter, former Laker now. It still goes to Lakers in this set. He went to the Pistons. And there's old John Starks. I think John Starks has a pretty pretty great... Um, I think he's in business too. I think his post-NBA career has been pretty uh, productive. Eighty five out of ninety nine on that. Brian O saying my buddy ripped a few of these today at Rory Shop. 
Uh, and the cards seem to be all beat up on the edges. Yeah, a little bit. I mean, I, I don't know. I don't know why they don't seem to rattle around in this. They're pretty secure in the box, so it must be something from the from the get go. Because when I, if you if you look carefully, when I rip these open, you know, they're, it's not like they're all out of out of place, right? So it's not like they're moving too much down there in the pack. So I don't know what ha what happened, but it's also not a super high end set. So maybe it's just not as sharp as it should be, but yeah, I've noticed on some of them. At a 199, Shea Gilgis Alexander. And SGA again to 99. Maybe with the, you're thinking maybe in the foil process or something like that? All right, Stacy King, 149 out of 149. And I think that's that sort of matte finish, the material of the car too, maybe may lend itself to be a little more a little more fragile. You know, you can kind of see if you look against my finger right there. It's not as, not as perfect, but it's not horrible. But you, you, you have, I, I have noticed it. Marvin Bagley the third, heir apparent autograph redemption for Rich Schmidt. Is Rich even here? I haven't seen him in the chat in ages. But there you go, Rich. Sometimes he's listening in the background. Sacramento Kings. Marvin, sign your cards. FYI, help us out there. But nice redemption nonetheless. Nice. I think Kings could have a very interesting team next year. Kings, Hawks. Two teams next year with a great young core. I think it would surprise a lot of people. And if they could lure like a decent free agent or something like that. And as a Lakers fan, that has me worried because the Lakers really... You know they got they got some good young players too, but you know they're they if they want to kind of make the best of LeBron's years here, they need to get like another guy. There's Luka Doncic to 199, nice. And Chris Paul to 25, so Lakers really need to get like a big free agent. I don't know. I don't think they're gonna get KD. This is a nice one. That goes to Daniel Patera in the Mavs. Um, this could go for like a hundred bucks, I think. Um, but I'm worried that like you know guys like I don't know who the Lakers can get. They're not getting KD. They might get Kyrie. He might Kyrie might go to New York with KD. Who knows? Shaq. Wow, what a break for the Lakers. Shaquille O'Neal Legacies autograph for Jerry. Little Laker Joe Mojo. Ah, the girl days. Eighteen out of twenty-five for the big Aristotle, the big diesel, Shaq Daddy. Kazam. Then we got Jose Calderon to one forty nine. Pistons. Yeah, and it's on card too. Nice. Miles Lacey, staying up late with us. Autograph there. Nice. All right, three boxes to go.
Oh, nice. Jared saying he opened a box earlier today and got the same two autos, Shaq and Calderon. I guess they're, maybe they're always paired together. Colin Sexton to 199. And Jaron Jackson Jr. to 99. We got Trey Young. Fresh paint autograph. That is fresh. Ice Trey going to Matt Stone. With the ATL Hawks. Fifty-seven out of one ninety-nine. That is strong. If if, that, if Luka Doncic didn't exist, this this would be your rookie of the year right here. All right, and we got Maxi Kleber, ninety out of one forty-nine autograph for the Mavs. That's for Daniel Patera. Two boxes to go. Let's leave up that Jaron Jackson and the Colin Sexton. Those will all be top loaded before they uh, before they ship out, of course. All right, two boxes to go. After this will be Splendor Hockey. And after that, I'm going to say goodnight to you all. And then we'll be back tomorrow, Saturday, 3 o'clock Pacific, 6 o'clock Eastern. Be sure to keep an eye out on our Twitter at Jaspies Breaks. Uh, so you know exactly when we go on air. There's Sir Charles to 199. And D'Angelo Russell to 25. He's had a nice season this year. Brian O was saying earlier he wouldn't be surprised if Mark Cuban gets another piece with Luka Doncic and Porzingis. Porzingis in a bit of legal trouble, maybe? Sounds like a very odd situation. There's Michael Bridges to 199. Heir apparent Phoenix Suns. Phoenix Suns, that's going to go to Matt Stone. Then we got Sam Perkins. Sovereign autograph Sam Perkins. Another one for the Dallas Mavericks. Daniel Patera. Eighty nine out of ninety nine. And the last box. Good luck, boys and girls. Thank you very much for digging deep, filling up this break late on a Friday night. Where do I think Kawhi? I, yeah, Brian, I actually think Kawhi will stay in Toronto. I was hoping that he'd like opt out or whatever his situation is. There's Kevin Huter. And that the Lakers would snag him. But it sounds like to me that he might stay in Toronto. Which might suit him better than L. I know he grew up in L.A., but I think that actually it actually might suit his personality better. To just kind of be on a great team, but just kind of off the radar. In Toronto? I don't know. I'm hoping Lakers. But I don't know if that's going to happen. There's Elia Kobu. Another son for Matt Stone. And I felt like at the beginning, I thought, no way Kawhi stays in Toronto. But as the season has gone on, 
you know, and listening to like Zach Lowe podcasts and Ben, you know, Bill, not Ben Simmons, Bill Simmons stuff and whatnot. And local LA talk show radio, George Sedano has a, has a show here, a radio show here in LA. The rumbling seemed to be leaning towards Kawhi actually maybe staying. I mean, anything could happen, but as of now, it seems like Kawhi is going to stay in Toronto. All right, good basketball chatting, folks. Our last autograph is Brush Strokes Udonis Haslam for the Miami Heat. Udonis going to Brian C. There you go, Brian. Autograph for you. Udonis, Brush Strokes Heat. 86 out of 99. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. No randomizers, nothing. A nice clean break of 1819 Court Kings basketball. That's our last case for the time being. Um, we'll try to dig up some more. Keep an eye out on jazbeescasebreaks.com. And if you missed out on the first time, don't miss out next time. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.